but he didn't have the time. It seems that some of his research is still in his workshops. Thank you, Saturno. I'll have a look. Do you know if Madame de la Bordesier has kept any of Leonardo's works? It's possible. She's very interested in da Vinci's works. But if you want to know, you'll have to persuade her to let you visit her apartments. And that risks being no mean affair. Who knows? Perhaps you'll be able to find the words and gifts capable of softening her heart. I've got enough for the time being. I've got enough for the time being. I risk tearing everything by doing it this way.
It's no use, I've got one already.
Madame de la Bordesiere must have dropped it. It's really splendid. What a shame that a stone is missing from it. Good day, Valdo. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. Good day, madam. Come nearer. Don't stay fixed to the ground like that. I'm honored to receive one of Francesco's best pupils. I've heard so many good things about you. Thank you. Though one should beware of rumors. I've heard about your talent, and it's a pleasant surprise to learn that you have wit as well. Whatever the case, I see that you've not wasted any time in visiting the manor. I admit that I was curious to discover Leonardo's study. And what did you find there? A few forgotten sketches, though much of the manor is closed. Would you be so kind as to take me for a visit? There's nothing else to visit. With Leonardo's apartments and his workshops, you already have access to his entire world. You're right. I also noticed some machines that don't work. With your permission, I'd like to restore them. Please don't hesitate. But it would really please me if you were to install a fountain in the courtyard. Leonardo had planned to do it, though never completed it. I think there is an old and unusable bridge that leads to the other part of the garden. I think it was he who designed it. I'll see what I can do. I'm delighted to have a specialist of Leonardo to restore the treasures around me. But that isn't the reason why you've come from so far away. Indeed, I'm looking for one of the last sketches of the Battle of Anghiari. I don't think that you'll find it at Clou. After having lived here for a year, I hardly think it would have escaped me. Obviously, but I must try nonetheless. Do as you think fit. In any case, if you're seeking information on Da Vinci's machines, I've seen the plates like this one. Leonardo prepared them, ready for printing. I don't know what they contain, but they may be of use to you. Thank you, madam. I shall go and see. Haven't you anything to give me before taking your leave? Yes, I almost forgot. I have a letter for you. Thank you, Valdo. You may leave. I slept little last night and would like to rest a while. We shall resume this conversation later. Please excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for chatting. I would like to rest.
I've got enough. Something's not quite right. I shouldn't stay around here without protection. I've got enough. enough. That's strange. According to Satanan, nobody comes here anymore, though it doesn't look completely abandoned. Who could be interested in this building? It's heavy, but I should be able to move it by using a lever. It's of no use at the moment. Thank you. 
Hello, Valdo, and welcome to Clue Manor. I have learned that Madame Babou de la Bourdesière possesses the works of Leonardo da Vinci that may help you in your quest. She must keep them in her apartments. You will have to persuade her to invite you into them. I have received your message and I'm working on seducing Madame. But it's no simple task. Otherwise, I have reached Leonardo's study, which has hardly changed since his departure. Apart from a few forgotten sketches, I haven't found anything that could be of any real help in finding the notebook. I continue my investigations. I've got some already. Thank <laughs> you. 
Perfect, but it's not hot enough. Perfect, but it's not hot enough. I'd do better to find something to help me to breathe. I'd do better to find something to help me to breathe.
Mr. Valdo. Yes? Do you always dress like that? In any case, it's original. Thank you very much, Satanam, but I can do without your remarks. I've got enough for the time being. Ow! Do you know if Madame de la Bordesier has kept any of Leonardo's works? It's possible. She's very interested in da Vinci's works. But if you want to know, you'll have to persuade her to let you visit her apartments. And that risks being no mean affair. Who knows? Perhaps you'll be able to find the words and gifts capable of softening her heart. Madame de la Bordesier seems rather wary, and I don't know how to be more agreeable to her. I'm no specialist, but I'd say that women like gifts like perfume, flower oils. With a little elegance, and courtesy besides, women's hearts often soften. But I'm not sure whether that's enough. Madame receives the favours of the king, so she's used to sumptuous gifts and being the centre of attraction. I've repaired the bridge that leads to the rest of the garden. I also saw a mill. Quite so. Does it still work? Yes, I've read the water wheel. It should work now. Thank you, Mr. Valdo. You've done me a great service. I had to mill the grain in the village. I've never seen a mill like that before. It's not surprising. It's unique. Well, it can be used to both mill grain and make paper pulp. How does it work? You simply have to grind cloth in water, after which you place the pulp under the press, and there's your paper.
I've got enough for the time being. You're wearing a very smart doublet, Valdo. Very elegant. I like my guests to show themselves at their best. Thank you, madam. You flatter me. But in spite of this doublet, I, I pale into insignificance beside you. A charming tongue to boot. You misinterpret my intentions. I'm certain you're no frivolous woman who would allow herself to be seduced by a few compliments. I admit I have not been very original, but I'm sure I'm not the first to find you beautiful. You're clever. It's strange. You remind me of Sally. Who is this Sally? The name seems familiar to me. Quite. In fact, I'm amazed that Melzi didn't tell you about him. Though perhaps Leonardo's two proteges didn't get on so well with each other. Sally was da Vinci's great favorite, his diabolical lover. He was handsome and intelligent, but also a liar, a thief, and even a counterfeiter. He stayed in the room where you're lodged. So it was he that inherited Leonardo's vineyards and belongings in Italy? Precisely. He shared all his material belongings between Sally and his brothers. All his writings went to his best pupil, Francesco Melzi, your master. I've heard that one of Leonardo's notebooks went missing. And you think it can be found here? No, it, it may be just hearsay, though I admit to being intrigued. I share your curiosity and have searched the manor myself in the hope of finding it, but without success. If Leonardo left a secret behind, it is certainly well kept. You're undoubtedly right. You seem to know a lot about da Vinci. I wondered whether you might have certain works of his. The originals are very rare and I'm a very curious person. El Diablo, a true Sale. Charming and cunning, I can see through your game, young man, but it's not so easy to invite oneself into the apartments of a lady. Return to your research. We'll speak of that later. I've got the bridge to work again. Thank you. That bridge can be most useful to us. I would be so happy if you could work on the fountain I told you about. Of course, madam. One would do anything to please you. Are you making progress with your research? Step by step. I've got the bridge to work again. Thank you. I would be... S of course, madam. Are you making pro... Step by step. Do you know if Madame Le It's possible, but if you want to and that, who knows?
Thank you, Valdo, but I would prefer it if you didn't cut my roses. I had such trouble to make them grow. My necklace! Where did you find it? I've looked for it everywhere. On the stairs, you must have dropped it. However, a stone is missing that I didn't find. Yes, it fell out a long time ago. Thank you so much. I'm very attached to it. Something's still missing. It looks as if it's ready. It smells divine. Where did you find it? These oils are very precious. I distilled them here with the roses from your garden. I didn't think you'd be against me using them for this. On the contrary, you've done very well. You really are a most resourceful man. I've got the bridge to work again. Thank you. That bridge can be most useful to us. I would be so happy if you could work on the fountain I told you about. Of course, madam. One would do anything to please you. Are you making progress with your research? Step by step. I've got the bridge to work. Thank you. I would be... Of course. Are you making... Step by step.
So, Leonardo, where are you with this canal project? Making progress, Your Majesty, making progress, but it's a considerable project. Supplying canals from a river as capricious as the Loire and designing all the locks is no mean task. I'm trying to achieve a harmonious development in addition to draining the region. Naturally, irrigation systems are needed but so are pools and fountains. I'm sure you're doing your best. I've also made a prototype for one of the fountains I'd like to install. It's based on a model from classical times. You must see it. It's still in the barn, as I haven't had time to install it. I suppose you must be working on the project nearly all day and night. By the way, have you made any progress on the question about which we spoke the other day? A little, Majesty, but I'm not sure whether it's in my competencies. If you don't mind my saying so, you need one of those crazy alchemists for such research. I know your reticence, my friend, but your unique mind may be better than any other for finding a solution to this thorny problem. Strange reminiscences. Leonardo and the King of France. If I believe what I saw, Da Vinci had already built his fountain. Perhaps it's still in the barn. However, I wonder what Francois I wanted Leonardo to work on. I've got the bridge to work again. Thank you. That bridge can be most useful to us. I would be... Of course, madam. One would do... Are you making pro... Step by step. Look here, you've got a nerve, Mr. Valdo. This is my place. It may be modest, but you can't come in like that. Oh, pardon me, Satana. I didn't know you lived here. I just came to find a fountain mechanism that Leonardo da Vinci must have left here. You're a magician, sir. How did you know that thing was here? Intuition, Satana. Just intuition. All right, I don't want to know. Take it. You're too kind. But don't think of coming to my place again without warning me. I don't like people that poke their noses into everything. However, if you want anything else, perhaps I could sell it to you.
You told me that if I needed anything, you might be able to find it. Everything I have is here. Show me what you need and we'll see whether it's possible to strike a bargain. That'll be two gold coins. 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 That'll be two go- That'll be one gold coin. That'll be three gold coins. Well done, Valdo. It's magnificent. Thank you, madam. But I played only a small role. It was Leonardo's idea. The fountain is magnificent. A beautiful piece of work, worthy of one of Leonardo's heirs. Thank you. I hoped it would please you. Decidedly, you're a perfect gentleman. Could you do one last thing for me? Of course, I'm listening. Take out your lyre, I pray you. We shall talk about it later. Play me a melody, please.
How I love music. Unfortunately, it doesn't love me in return. My voice is broken. I must have caught a cold during my journey. I shouldn't have sung. And my chambermaid isn't here to make me one of her potions. She's chosen the wrong time to visit her sister. That's just my luck. If she can't talk, she won't be able to help me with my investigation. There must be a way of curing that. Perhaps Saturnan knows a remedy. You told me if I needed anything, you could perhaps find it. Indeed. Follow me. Madame de la Bordesier has lost her voice. I wonder whether you knew of a good remedy. She sang too much again. The best remedy is a syrup made of honey, thyme, lemon and water. I don't have any, but there's a beehive in the garden. I shouldn't stay around here without protection. Hey! I shouldn't stay around here without protection. Hey!
I found two frames in the beehive. Do you know how to extract the honey? I should be able to do that, but I'll keep one of them. It would have surprised me if you'd rendered me a service for nothing. It's an honest bargain, sir, unless you'd rather do it alone. All right, all right. You always give me the impression of pulling the wool over my eyes. Come back later. I'll deal with it. Here is what you asked me for. Thank you, Satana. It looks as if it's ready. Thank you very much. I will soon get well again with this. What's more, it's delicious. I like you more and more, Valdo. Follow me. I have something to show you. Here are my apartments. What do you think of them? You're well installed, and I see that you really do have some of da Vinci's works. The two drawings are over there, and there's the telescope behind you. It's damaged. May I look at them? Of course, now that you're here. You're well installed, and I see that you really do have some of da Vinci's works. The two drawings are over there, and there's the telescope behind you. It's damaged.
You said it didn't work, it's a shame. Perhaps it's only something small, like a broken lens. I don't know anything about it, but please, if you think you can repair it. Can you see anything? Yes, I've just seen Saturn Air hiding a boat. That man's really very mysterious. It's your imagination. It must be to protect it from the weather. You may be right, but I think he's behaving more and more strangely. Don't be so suspicious. It's getting late. You can start your investigation tomorrow. This telescope will perhaps reveal better things than Saturnin coming and going. See you tomorrow, Valdo. Good night, madam. <laughs>